Hi, my name is Lillian. I'm from Abraham Lincoln, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Kai, and I'm a senior, and we're from Abraham Lincoln. Four score seven years ago! This poem is probably pertinent to all the poets in this room today because what is a poet without one perpetually absent parental figure? The elusive father is something many have searched for, but few have apprehended. As poets, we pour our heart out on a page and speak our deepest truths on the stage. I've heard countless poems about broken relationships with fathers and the yearning to mend all open wounds, attempting to wipe the yellow pus and sew together the sore without leaving battle scars. I have his thick thighs and his hazel eyes along with his tendency to be a little shy, and that's where the inheritance stops and the little poet in my brain starts to stain its walls in an array of wonderful colors so I can distinguish between his small gifts to me and the gifts I gave myself. After all, what, what is, is a, a poet without their daddy, daddy issues? issues? At the best times, I didn't have a dad, and neither did most of my friends. The ones who did seemed to rarely scare them or were vaguely scary to elementary me. In my hippie elementary school, daddy-daughter dances were outlawed, and custodian and kid dances were much more common. My first inkling that something wasn't quite right was TV. Maybe some kids had a little less Walter White and a little more Tim Taylor, but even they were a little neurotic. Danny Taylor had OCD, and when you Googled him in real life, well, was I really that wrong? In my all-female household, the phantom <coughs> father was something I only saw at friends' houses. It looked like something akin to Bigfoot, more than double my height. Harry with a big pot belly protruding, I thought that men were the ones who gave birth until the third grade. <laughs> It was just as unsettling. I've been told dads tend to spew, spew passive philosophy or quick quips. And that the smartest women get their tongues from their fathers. That the tougher a girl is, the more brothers she has. But what does that make me? No matter how old the saying is or how delusional you think I am, I refuse to say that my synapses have been slipped by a single parent household. That I've lost the precious teachings someone I don't even want to speak to could give me. And I refuse to say that my lack of a father has made me a poet. Lord knows he didn't have a way with words. Having never sung a lullaby or lovingly lied to me, therefore nothing to pass down. I'm not subscribing to the superstition in this week's issue of what's wrong with you and your daddy issues. Because, because of you, of you Mom, I don't, don't mourn the loss of what could have been. been.